Hello. Welcome back to another video. Um, I just thought I'd do another kind of commentary video. Um, I've already done a couple and I feel like they've been reviewed quite nicely and some good feedback. So I thought I'd do another. The title today, it's not really a title, it's more of a discussion. Um, as you can see, the gameplay that's going on now is I was playing with my nephew. He was actually sat in the same room next to me. He had his PC round and he was sat next to me and we decided to play duos. And we got the win. I got nine kills, which is really good. Um, yeah, we had a really good, t good game, good time. But it just got me thinking and I was discussing with him about, you know, where do you want to drop? Where do you like dropping? And, um, and I said, oh, I have a place where I love to drop. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to it and we'll just keep landing there. And it kind of made me realize like how I've copied my kind of habits from my first war zone, blackout or battle royale or whatever you want to call it, my battle royale experience from start until now. I kind of have kept the same kind of play style. Um, and it's just it's just kind of been interested or interesting to think about and to think of and uh, you know I'm not I'm not a, an amazing player I don't, you know I don't get wins left right and center I don't get very many high kill wins I'm happy to get a one kill win I play for fun I'm not a huge streamer I'm not very competitive I kind of just want to enjoy the game and enjoy it with my friends so you know for me i'm you know i'm not a streamer not anything i just I enjoy playing um but also i like to make videos um i uploaded lots of wins and stuff to my youtube channel which i just enjoy doing and now i edit them and try and make them a bit more interesting but one thing i was thinking about is is my landing spots in a game why do i choose where i like to land and I think it's kind of started from when I first started Battle Royale because how I first started Battle Royale has continued into how I play Battle Royale now. Um, I'm no more an aggressive player as I was when I first started playing Battle Royale way back when Blackout was out. Um, my play style is still the same. I'm kind of kind of half cautious. I'll push when I need to, I read the terrain. I'm not flying around the map. Uh, and I guess that's a confidence thing. Um, I wouldn't say I'm an amazing player, you know, I'm getting to my mid-40s, I've got to wear glasses, I'm sure my reactions and <laughs> my body isn't the same as playing against a sharp 18-year-old or someone who doesn't have kids and gets sleep. <laughs> so, but I just kind of wanted to think about the landing places and I kind of took a trip down memory lane, let's say. And there's a lot of similarities in my landing kind of choices. Let's start with Blackout, released 2018. Blackout was Call of Duty's first battle royale. And it eventually added the first kind of resurgence with Rebirth Island that came eventually to Blackout. But let's start with the main Blackout map. Solid map, really good. The first thing you do when you play a first Battle Royale map is you've got to learn it. Like your first 20 to 30 games, you're pretty much just dropping anywhere to see if you like it, to see if you get lucky or what you find. And then eventually you learn the map, you learn the terrain, you learn the buildings, kind of establish an idea of where you like to land and go. And I definitely prefer landing in an area that I like to go to and will constantly go to it because I like to know the layout of that area. Because no matter what battle royale you play, for Blackout there wasn't loadouts, but at the end of the day you were looking for attachments for guns and you wanted to get the best attachments on the gun really quick to make it work how you like to work it. In Warzone it's very different. You're pretty much just looking for cash. You hopefully find a really good ground loot gun hopefully find a gun with some good attachments on it that you're familiar with but nine out of ten warzone is all about quick how much money can we get get to the buy station get your load out boom i've got the guns i love and i think that's what i missed that from blackout blackout it was 
trickier because you never knew what kind of gunfight you're going to have, what attachments you had, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with Warzone, it's all about who can get the best gun really quickly and who's going to be successful really quickly, and it kind of takes the fun out of it. But hey, that's just my opinion. Yeah, but fun. landing points. So definitely there's some interesting methods in my landing points. So I'm going to see if you can see the pattern of how I like to kind of choose where I like to land. So let's rewind to blackout. Now, my first landing spot that I absolutely loved was Asylum because it was just a fun place to land. You had some really fun fights. But I established after a while that I'd kind of want to have at least two p favorite places that I want to land. So Asylum was definitely my number one. My number two was Nuke Island. Really enjoyed landing at Nuke Island. And the good thing is, those are the two areas of the map that I really got to know because it got me established with my guns, it got me my parts that I needed, barrels, scopes, whatever, got me kills, you know, looting through people's bags, getting all the attachments that you need. And then boom, by the time you were getting into the middle of the map to more serious fights, you'd got most of the stuff you'd needed. And it was a good start. And I carried that over to Warzone 1. So Warzone 1 totally changed. It, the, the gameplay changed. Everything changed about Battle Royale from Blackout to Warzone. The map for Dansk, really good map. But again, I had to learn a brand new game because all the, moving, all the movement mechanic, mechanics had changed. Weapons had changed. So it was a massive jump from Blackout to Warzone 1. So it start all over. But as time went on and I got playing it and enjoying playing it, I found two places I really love to land. The first one, it's not even a named area on the map of Verdansk. It was just an area that me and my friends called it. And it, we used to call it construction. Now, if you look at the bottom of the Verdansk map, you'll see prison on the far right. If you go to the far left hand corner, there's an area that was like a construction site. It wasn't named construction. We called it construction. And that was our number one landing spot. Let's go to construction. Funny story. I actually went to construction playing a duo with my friend Chris. And our other two friends that we normally play with in quads were actually playing a duo game as well. And we all landed at our favorite spot and I managed to kill them. <laughs> So first I killed my cousin Craig and then I killed his teammate Rick um, and I've got it on my YouTube channel and I kind of remind him about it now and then. Um, it was brilliant. But anyway, I'm kind of sidetracking. But yeah, we love landing at construction and we also, I enjoyed landing at prison. Prison was also another fun place to land because it was loads of reams and stuff to explore and the fights there were pretty good. Then we moved to Caldera. And Caldera was an awful map. And most people would say how awful it was. But again, I didn't have to get used to the movement mechanics of the weapons because I'd already done all that. And that was one less thing to worry about. I was just learning a brand new map. And then eventually, I got to know some places in Caldera. My two favourite places to land in Caldera were Resort, which no one really went to. It's a massive hotel, massive area. So it didn't take long to get loadout. And then I used to land at the docks. And I used to really enjoy the docks. Now, docks was more popular than resort, but doc docks was quite expansive. There were quite some a lot of buildings in that area, so the fights weren't too intense to start with. Uh, and you could get your loadout reasonably quickly. Then the big move came. Warzone 2 and the brand new map, Al Mazwa. Now, I actually like Al Mazwa. I think it was a very solid map. wasn't too... Unbalanced wasn't too like meta places or like Caldera, like you know, most of the circles ended up in the middle of the mountain, which you had to just climb upwards to get to, and that was bad. But I think Warzone 2 Amazra was more balanced. But again, a brand new map to learn. And with playing Amazra, I really enjoyed it, and I just think there were some really good places to land now. I used to like Fortress and Tarak Village were two kind of, I'd say Tarak Village was my first kind of area that I enjoyed landing. 
<coughs> excuse me but there was a little area between airport and akbar village or akdar village sorry there was a few buildings between airport and akdar village one of the buildings quite a long building had loads of money and you could get your load out running from start to end to that building one you'd get money for a load out and two you'd always find a buy station marker so that became at tarak village kind of got crossed off and we always used to land between akdar village and airport and then fortress is the one i like to land at so that became my landing spot for Amasra. and now we're in Erzikstan. And obviously you can see from that gameplay, um, I like to land where I like to land now in Erzikstan, which is in the Savannah suburbs. I don't pronounce it right. And uh, yeah, that's become our favourite. But also in this, it's not even just the Battle Royale maps. I also have had time to play Resurgence maps and Resurgence and Battle Royale is two totally different things. Resurgence is fast paced. Battle Royale is a bit slower. Um, obviously with Resurgence it's like you've got quite a few lives you can keep coming back as long as you're not fully wiped out. Battle Royale once you're dead you're dead. So with uh, Resurgence there's less kind of cautiousness, people just flying around. And I do enjoy the change of pace when I decide to play Resurgence. So again new maps, so started playing Rebirth Island to Warzone 1. <laughs> I'd played Rebirth Island in Blackout, but they had made cha had made changes to it, so it wasn't the exact same match map. And so my drop areas in Rebirth Island were Harbour and Chem Labs. There for me were really good drop areas. I found I got fairly established before someone pushed me and killed me, or someone pushed me and I killed them. And then we were blessed with an amazing resurgence map that I hands down loved as one of my favourites was Fortune's Keep. Fortune's Keep was brilliant. And it didn't take me long to find places I love to land. I used to land down at the bay and at camp. Never landed in the middle, it was too hot, especially for pistol fighting, which I wasn't very good at. And then we went to obviously Warzone 2. And with Warzone 2, we saw resurgence came to brand new maps uh, one of the maps was well both the maps actually came a part of the dmz mode which i won't really go into i played some dmz really enjoyed it but you had a sheikah island sheikah island is my least favorite resurgence map i think as a dmz map i think it worked well i think as resurgence it was pants but i only had one place where i like to land on a sheikah island i didn't have two this is the only map I had one place, and that was Shipwreck. Always go Shipwreck, that's it. Never go anywhere else. So I just didn't enjoy the map. And I found Shipwreck, and I used to land there. It was really quiet. You know, I could get established quite quickly before someone came around. Um, but Sheikah, to me, is my least favourite research map. And soon they're bringing out, obviously, Rebirth Island and Fortune to keep again. I'll, I'll happily accept them to take a Sheikah out of it completely and not have it in a rotation. And then after a Sheikah came Vondal. I do like Vondal as a resurgence map. Um, as we got playing it, really enjoyed it. And it didn't take me long to establish two favourite landing places in Vondal. And that is exhibit i landed exhibit for i think from the start i think i didn't know but actually tell a lie i think i went to museum first and eventually i found exhibit and there's actually a lot of crates at exhibit and it's actually quite a nice building to fight him um so i used to land in exhibit and then my friend tech nation he found there's buildings between museum and stadium they're not marked they're not listed or anything <coughs> Um, they're just there's just a row of buildings between museum and stadium that then came became our secondary so it was between exhibit and those set of buildings and um i think actually those set of buildings became my favorite landing spot more than exhibit near the end so yeah and if you know your maps 
I'm hopefully going to try and put some images up on this video. But if you know your maps, I think you can see a pattern emerging with what my play style is. Obviously, I'm not a hot drop player. I'm not a, you know, drop and get a team white with my pistol because I'm not actually that good at shooting pistols. Um, a 9 out of 10, I die. The pattern emerging, if you can kind of see it as a gamer, is I'm an edge of map lander. And that means, you know, I want a nice quiet place to land and just get myself kind of set up ready for the fight, I guess, and just be prepared. Um, I can I can be okay with ground loot guns, but I tend to lose a lot of fights with my pistols and my ground loot guns. So, like, in Warzone, Nezikstan, I kind of just want to get my load out um, as quick as I can, really, so then I feel comfortable with the guns that I've got. And Blackout was different. I kind of would try and land somewhere quiet and hopefully find my favourite gun and the attachments I needed. But everyone has different play styles. The people I play with, Tech and Salty and... Uh, Love Crumpet and Cod Washer and Grant. <laughs> Grant, Mr. How, how? Um, we all have different play styles. Um, and that's fine. And we have fun together. Um, you know, it's just... Everyone's different. And, and you know, Chris would always say that. We're all different. And sometimes, you know, we've kind of said to each other, sometimes there's times where you needed to push and you didn't. And you need to turn back and you didn't. And it's, it's it can be tricky when you're playing with friends that have different play styles. But you know what? We've all got wins together and we've all got funny moments and videos together. And uh, and for me, the bottom line is to have fun and to enjoy myself. But it was funny to kind of look back at all my favorite drop points over all the maps I've played from Blackout to Warzone, from the Blackout map, from Verdansk to Caldera, to Al Mazra, you know, to Urzikstan. And then in Resurgence, you know, the totally different maps, you know, Rebirth Island, Fortune's Keep, Ashika and Vondal, they're all different maps, but my play style stays the same, you know. I just want a nice little spot where I can get my stuff. Um, I might have the odd fight where I land, but, you know, I've tried hot jobs and I'm just not good at them. And that's just my play style. Um, I'd love to be better, but, you know, I am who I am. And um, so, yeah, so it's just nice to kind of have this discussion about your favorite drops. And, and please feel free to, in the comments below, just maybe add your, what have been your favorite spots to land in and uh, what memories have you got on these maps? Because, and I mean, the exciting thing for me is Fortunes Keep and Rebirth Island are coming back with this season of warzone because everyone knows from warzone 2 to warzone Urzikstan. i won't say warzone 3 because i don't really call it warzone 3 but all the movement has changed back to warzone 1 and um, that was the thing about warzone 2 it didn't really get much love when it comes to it it's realism that they tried to do and its movements and all that it didn't really go down well so they've kind of reverted back and with reverting back to the warzone 1 kind of movement of things I think when Rebirth Island of Fortune's Keep comes back, it's going to feel very much like it was back in Warzone 1, and I, and I think that's quite exciting. Um, I haven't really played Von Dahl and Ashika Island Resurgence with the new version of Warzone because I want to save it for Fortune's Keep. Fortune's Keep was my hands down my favourite map or my Resurgence map, and then Rebirth Island is a close second behind that. So I'm, I'm playing Urzikstan now, and I'm playing it loads and I'm not even touching resurgence because I want to wait until my favorite comes back. And that's fortunes keep. As soon as fortunes keep comes back, I will, uh, I'll have a little break from Urzikstan battle royale and I'll definitely be playing a lot more resurgence just to see how fun it is and whether they change the map or not. I don't know if they're going to keep it exactly the same. It'd be really exciting to see, but yeah, feel free to comment uh, below. Um, and uh, like and subscribe and yeah i really hope you enjoyed the video um we're just going to bring our attention now back to the gameplay because i've kind of finished discussing what i want to discuss here's a headshot boom um me and my nephew here get the win and i was talking about this actually to him um keeping the high ground 
um, you know, there's a difference between camping a spot and keeping a kind of a, a tactical, a tactical weight on an area. Like, as you can see here, we've got the high ground, we've got snipers. And uh, I was saying to him in the game, like, it's really key to have a good position near the end, have a good rotation in. And I, I purposely pushed right on this to get this high ground to have the overview of the the area at the bottom because we both well i had a sniper so i wanted to keep a view over all this area down below and hope the circle kind of went our way and uh it's tactical holding westy spoke about this there's a streamer called westy and he spoke about the difference between camping and tactical holding um, and for me, camping would be there'd be a guy that would just kind of get his load out and just sit in the same building the whole game, and hopefully he had middle circle. But tactical holding is just kind of dominating and keeping an eye over an area of a game. And this is what I said to Desire: we're not we're not camping over the top here. We're not gonna yeah. You know, we're just tactically holding this space because we want to keep the high ground. So that's what we did, and uh, I was hoping to get some more decent snipes here. And I was just saying to him, let's not rush. Let's just keep this high ground. And there's lots of people down here, lots of smoke going off, people not wanting to get sniped, um, people staying in in decent cover. And there's a guy right below me. I didn't really see him. There he is, just there. I didn't know he was there. Boom. Good night. And see you later. I was hoping to try and get a few more downs as this circle come along, but then the circle was pushing us around, so we had to kind of move to the right. But I still wanted to keep the high ground so we could keep looking down. But this is where it got a bit tricky, as you can see by the minimap. The gas is going to push us over the wall. I wanted the circle to be just a bit more over this wall. It wasn't. And I didn't want to get caught mantling the wall, looking over, and someone hitting me while I was mantling, because that is an annoying thing. While you're busy climbing, they're busy shooting, and they get the edge on you. So we've got a team pushing in here. And I think they had the same idea. They were trying to get this high ground, and I wanted to push them away. So this was me just kind of pushing them back down the hill. And um, they throw some grenades. I, I thought I took some smoke to stop them from pushing because then they can't really see what they're pushing into. And I think it worked. I think it made them take the high ground, uh, the low ground. So I go around. I use my gas mask a bit here to get this corner to look down. And I thought they'd be by these panels, but they weren't. So I think it pushed them further down the hill. So again tactical holding we still had the high ground it's where i wanted to be we've got a really good circle rotation here the gas is is going to push us to the right we've still got the high ground along this push which is good and they're fighting down the bottom the last few teams are fighting which is really good for us so i wanted to keep high my nephew bless him gets really excited a bit gung-ho he pushes down the hill and i'm trying to keep him covered i did panic a bit but i was like right so I'm just keeping a look. Get some, get some plate hits. He luckily downed somebody. He gets downed. Last man. Here we go. And I managed to get the finish and the win. It was just a, a brilliant time to spend that time with him. Experience that. And yeah, GG's. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I haven't rambled on too long. Um, I'm enjoying making these videos. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Another last game win. Brilliant. That was yes. good. Sniper, mate. I had some cracking snipes on that one, though. Survivor. Again. Jeez. Right, I bet you had more kills than me. Did I get the kills this time? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh! I had nine okay. kills. Nine kills. Brilliant.